expression. And it is called an equation. An equation has got two sides. Right hand side of the equation and left hand side of the equation. And they are equal. Now, you have to make sure that this equation, expression, is also equal to this one. So you have to expand the other side. So as you can find x squared and something, something with x and something with no x. Then from x plus k squared, that is to say it is x plus k times x plus k. This is how it is. It's just like to say y squared is equal to y times y. If that is the case, let us multiply these numbers. That is to say, x times x and plus k. That is to say, x in bracket, x plus k. And the other, this one, this one here. Then plus, positive, that is positive k in bracket, x plus k. Then let us open the bracket. X times X, that is X squared? Squared. That this is K plus KX. Then plus KX. Then plus, this time this one is K squared. This is KX and this is KX. Means these are called like terms. Now we put them together. Then we find it is X squared plus 2KX. Then it plus k squared. Is equal now to x squared plus 8x plus q. This is what we have. So this implies what? Dc is equal to this one. Then 8x is equal to 2kx. And q now is equal now to what? k squared. Now we start by comparing them. By comparison, we have 8x is equal now 2kx. 80x. Then you remain with 2k is equal to 8. Divide by 2, divide it by 2. Now k is equal now to 4. This is what you got. If now k is equal to 4, but remember here, Q is equal now to K squared. But K is equal to 4, that is to say now is equal to 4 squared. Now 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Therefore, Q is equal to 16 and K is equal to 4. That's all.